Hi and uh, welcome back to freemusic.blogspot.com uh, This is the fourth video, I think, uh, in a series where I'm looking at uh, drum uh, synthesis. Um, and in this video, I'm going to look at producing some conga sounds. Uh, and what I mean by conga sounds are, uh, I think you've got to take it with a bit of a pinch of salt. I mean, I'm trying to replicate the, the kind of pitched sine wave sound that you get from a kind of 808 conga uh, such as such as these guys here um, basically you know the idea is a kind of simple drum sound really um, so the first uh, thing we're going to do is uh, drag in an operator uh, let's uh, do a kind of high conga. Um, yeah, so we're gonna. It's gonna be uh, the basic pitch of of this is gonna be a kind of a B flat. That's what um, I would suggest we start at. Um, we're just going to have uh, a very simple setup. Turn the voices down to one. Turn off oscillator C and D because we're not going to use them. Uh, first oscillator, we're going to have our sine wave. So let's, let's have a listen. There we go. Um, bring down sustain. Bring decay right in to about, about 300. Um, and we're going to make the pitch fixed at about four, five, seven hertz, which is B flat A sharp territory. So here you get that kind of very basic sine wave coming through. Just to add a bit more to that sound, we're going to bring in uh, another oscillator playing the note, uh, the the octave below. So it's going to be playing um, the sort of B flat 2. I'm just going to bring up the level once we've changed uh, this down. Okay. Again, so we've got the same decay, 2.9. 90 milliseconds. Um, pitch envelope, let's sort of moderate settings, and obviously, you want to shorten decay to about 30, just a little subtle bit of, a bit of sound shaping. Um, initial, we're going to leave where it is, uh, peak, we're going to leave where it is, and sustain, we're going to leave where it is. Um, yep, yeah, that's our basic high conga sound. So, we're going to go select the chain. Uh, view and uh, we actually just right click on that and duplicate what we need to do now is select this chain and select G sharp 1 uh, and rename this to uh, low conga maybe spell it correctly um, let's change the naming of this as well And uh, for this, we're going to uh, not actually use a pitch envelope. Uh, we're going to um, we are let's, let's, let's hear what the basic tone is. That's uh, just our uh, B flat two. Um, let's engage our high pass filter. Uh, let's go for high pass twelve. We don't need anything too steep. Um, so we've got like so. And that's compared to our lower conga. You can obviously um, 
bring in uh, even a little bit of uh, frequency content into the overall sound, but uh, I think this is okay. It kind of um, bring in, just roll down the, the cutoff. You want a bit more body in that sound, but that's that basic sound. And you can see how simple it is if we just double click on our um, spectrum analyzer, and you can see that basic pitch. Obviously, as you'd imagine, directly corresponds to uh, the pitch here. Uh, we can see there's a bit of, um, we can see the effect of the cutoff around here, and uh, we can see there's a kind of little uh, the effect of the filter on the sound. Or should I say, the effect of the of the envelope uh, on the on the sound. Let's uh, actually now look at some new sounds. Let's look at creating a, uh, a side stick sound. I'll do this quite quickly. Um, as a reference, let's, um, let's do a side stick in here. No, but let's look at the, um, the, the, um, the Ableton side stick within the uh, within operator, within the operator settings is quite nice I think. So the side stick 808. Got that kind of classic classic sounds. So there's our reference. Um, there we go. Um, on this track. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so here we're just going to use a simple bit of subtractive synthesis. Uh, turn the voices down to 1. We're going to select this last algorithm. We're going to turn oscillator D off. We're not going to use that. We're going to use a square 3, first of all. Um, again, fixed tuning and we're going to dial in a setting of 457 Hz. We're going to bring the sustain right down and we're going to have a decay of about 100, 130 let's say. Uh, moving on to oscillator B, uh, we're going to have uh, another square 3, so we're still going to right click, copy envelope from oscillator A and copy the actual waveform from oscillator A. And we are then going to dial in a value of 9, 10 hertz. We are then going to bring in uh, our third oscillator, which is going to be a sine wave. We're going to copy the envelope from A, bring out the level, change it to fixed, and we're going to have uh, a higher frequency tone, so uh, 1.8. 3 kilohertz. We're then going to introduce a bit of LFO. Actually, we're going to select square wave. Bring, uh, keep the rate where it is, and bring the amount down. And we're going to use the high pass 12 dB filter. Bring the um, all these resonance at one, and the last step is to use the pitch envelope, and we're actually going to uh, do something a bit different here. So we're going to bring the decay really short, uh, leave the release where it is, leave the initial on twelve peak. We're going to bring down to mine that's twenty one. And sustain at zero or minus, so minus 24 or thereabouts. And then we're going to apply the envelope negatively. You might always want to reduce the time, just tighten up the sound a bit. There we go. You might want to 
play with the uh, envelope settings to get the right kind of feel. But that's the basic tone. And obviously, you know, subtly moving the levels up and down, you can uh, kind of, you can kind of finesse the sound somewhat. But uh, that's that. Um, I think this is going to be the end of. Uh, this video. Uh, so join me in the next video uh, where I'll be looking at uh, synthesizing uh, cowbell sounds and then moving on to onto some toms. Cool. Check out the next video. Thanks. Goodbye.